Welcome to the leaf hydroponic farm. Today we will be talking about how to fill the grow bags for planting various crops. Our farm worker is taking one bag at a time, distending the bag fully in all dimensions. The grow bag we are using here is 40 centimeter by 25 centimeter by 25 centimeter. You can say 16 inch by 10 inch by 10 inch. So the grow bag is filled, distended and then filled with a mixture of coco peat and perlite which is mixed in the ratio of 9 is to 1. 9 parts coco peat and 1 part perlite. Now you are not supposed to press the mixture too heavily. If you press the mixture too heavily it will be you know costly also because it will have a lot of uh, you know material in it and secondly the roots will not be able to grow in a very hard material. So you have to fill the grow bag completely and ensure that it is straightened out properly and also ensure that it is filled right up to the top on a level because when you will water these, the cocoa peat and perlite mixture will settle down a little. So like this, you can use the grow bag rather than the costly Dutch bucket. Of course, in the grow bags, you won't be able to collect the drainage out of it but doesn't matter if you are using a weed mat which we are using in this case which is uh, uh, you know uh, through which the water can pass in that case you need not bother much about it because whatever the drainage is there that drainage will ooze out through the weed mat so like this the farmer the basic principle of growing crops is how to make the whole process profitable if the process is not profitable then there is no fun in adopting any technology. So the most emphasis should be laid because we are selling our crops not at the in dollars and at the rate which are sold in USA. So we cannot use technology for which we pay in dollars and for which we pay very heavily and make our project, you know, unviable or non-viable. So you will have to see these grow bags are very good quality. You can use them for three, four years. We are using them for the third year and they are black from inside and white from outside so that the roots don't get any exposure to light. So this type of grow bag are very good. Don't use a larger grow bag. In this grow bag, we will plant two plants of uh, cucumber, two plants of the bell pepper, two plants of uh, the musk melon, and one plant of uh, the eggplant or the brinjal, and four plants of uh, the uh, pole beans because uh, different crops require different density and uh, cucumber, uh, bell pepper, musk melon and uh, your beans they require trellising whereas uh, the brinjal if you are growing brinjal in the poly house then please make sure that your crop or your seeds or your varieties parthenocarpic parthenocarpic means that it can produce you know fruits without pollination if the variety is not parthenocarpic then you will not get the fruits in that case so it will be difficult for you to get the fruits or pollinate by hand or by using other you know this uh, uh, bees and all that within the poly house so thank you very much we will keep on informing you about all the components of hydroponic farming if you like our video then please subscribe to our channel like it and then you can comment post your comment on the in the comment section and we will be able to uh, you know answer those your queries and i will request you to share this video also if you really find it to be helpful in growing your crops hydroponically in controlled environment agriculture thank you